Thank you very much, Julie, for the early uh, comments about Western Michigan University. But let me be very clear and start right out by saying this is not about Western Michigan University. This is much, much uh, a greater call. It's about all of our educational institutions, higher education, community colleges doing more to make sure that we serve and provide great support and service to those who have served us so very, very well. We have had great success on our campus, but it is not by accident. It is really about commitment. And I think that's what we're about here today is commitment, to make sure that we do the right thing. I have uh, an early trustee uh, at that time in 2007 when we started this thing. Trustee Archer's here with us today. Thank you very much. We got it right then because we knew that to make sure that we serve people like, like Justin very well and Matt and others, that we needed to get over a few hurdles. The first hurdle was all veterans in our campus are in state. Their dependents are in state. We do not count them as out of state or, uh, for tuition charges or purposes. We believe that was very, very important. We also know that it's important when, a, when a, an active military comes to the university or to a community college, sometimes their benefits don't follow right away. We provide support and bridge for them a mini grant to help that active person move right into their education because we know how important that is. And it has served us well and I think it has served our veterans very, very well. We do have a dedicated advocacy office. Uh, we believe that we call that office serving those who serve. And it's actively staffed by people whose job is to make sure that we are providing support for our 500 plus Afghanistan and Iraqi veterans on our campus. We also have a veteran specialist in our registrar's office to make sure the experiences that these young men have had, that they transition, that they count for something because they should count for something. These are great life experiences that also have a lot to do with their academic success. We have a student veterans association on our campus. I could talk more about that later. And we also make sure when those veterans walk across that stage and receive the degree that they've earned, that they are acknowledged in a special way with an honor cord that's red, white, and blue. Because we want to make sure that we are there at the beginning, we're there as they graduate, and we're going to be there as they seek employment. And finally, I'll just end with one thing, although I have many, many more things to say. We were identified recently as a vet success university. We're one of 11 in the United States. Great support from this office, from, the, from our general, and also uh, from uh, Senator Allen, Director Allen, thank you for your support. Well, what this means is this is a gift to all of Michigan because we will have provided for us a vocational counselor supported by the VA and also an outreach coordinator to make sure that veterans know the benefits that are out there that they can access not only Western Michigan University but other institutions in our state. We're doing that in partnership with Kalamazoo uh, Community College and uh, our Kellogg Community College, excuse me, and Kalamazoo Valley Community College. So we're very, very proud of our successes, but the story again today is that we can do more. And the benefit to our university is that, yeah, we provide a great education, but these veterans are enriching and enhancing our university through their stories, their life experiences, and wow, it just makes it a much, much richer environment than it was before. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. What, uh, what